Captain Anderson, the man who commanded the aircraft carrier Kestrel and kept her afloat through countless battles. Nah, I'm just a guy who's fought one losing battle after another. However, since this war began, this ship hadn't taken a single hit from enemy forces. This ship may be unharmed, but it pains me to see fewer and fewer pilots coming back every time we launch them out on combat sorties. Now the only pilot left is Captain Snow, the squad leader. Nobody wants an aircraft carrier without aircraft. So we're just sitting idle here. At the end of the last war, I was assigned the mission of dropping a nuclear weapon on a city in my own country. Hmm. When I refused and went AWOL, it was Captain Bartlett who took me in. His nickname was also Kid back then. He was a strange man. Fifteen years since the war and he never got promoted once. In my country there was a group called the Grey Men. And likely to still be around today. To them, I'm a traitor. And for the past 15 years, Bartlett's protected me from them. Speaking of which, you don't think the Grey Men are involved with the disappearance of President Harling, do you? I've got an intelligence gathering vessel in my fleet, the Andromeda that's capable of intercepting all forms of communications. Recently, it picked up a secret message transmitted in Belkin. That, Colonel, is why I called all of you here. All this intense flying's tough on an old body. From here on out, it's their time to shine. Hmm. But what do we do about planes? We've captured a ship trying to smuggle aircraft from a South Belkin company into Yukdabania. Plenty of planes to choose from. All right. If there aren't any objections, then I'll take command of this air operation. We're launching a rescue operation for the president of Osia within the Principality of Belka. The communications intelligence ship Andromeda received information that President Harling is being held in Belka. The location is an old castle positioned on the southern edge of the border zone between Belka and North Osia. Sea Goblin, our helicopter squadron, will handle the direct rescue effort. After securing the area, a helicopter will descend on the castle and drop our infiltrating rescue squad. It will station keep in the air while the rescue is taking place on the ground and in the castle. Your mission is to provide air support for the Sea Goblin's rescue operation and destroy any opposing enemy forces. Choose an aircraft for the mission from the Kestrel's carrier jets and prepare to launch. Launching in this formation? War Dog, launch! This is different than we usually see. That's great! There he goes. 
fucking awesome. This is the only part in the game where you actually see this kind of setting, where people, like actual people walking and stuff, which is a kind of a cool addition, although it was kind of just uh, more or less uh, not a, a big thing back in like 14 years ago in 2004. But still cool even by today's standards. Just can't wait for uh, Ace Combat 7 to uh, come out. Can I see his face? Kind of. I'll be playing Ace Combat 7 once it does come out, so be prepared for that. Please, you are cleared for takeoff. Well, thank you. Here we go, here we go, here we go, go now. And launching. Yeah. Let's get a view from the back here. Oh, nice. That's awesome. I am up and at him. Up and going, up and going, up and going. We go here. That's a lot of... That's really high altitude. You're not going to let me go now, or what? Oh, there we go. Please, cool. altitude restrictions canceled. Return to your mission. Good luck. Well, thank you. Right, we are flying in formation with swordsmen now. You guys should have sight of the castle by now. Sea gobblers go descend for an insertion. So can you take out the air defense batteries for them? Ah, eh, sure, why not? Take your time and be thorough. You don't want to leave any standing. I'm pretty sure I've never really said no in any of these selections. Well, I may have like once or twice or a few times, but anyway, let's get in this mission, shall we? Take him down. Bet your ass she is. The team rescued me from that mountain in the snowstorm. That helicopter ride was pretty comfy, huh? Hey, you Dude. want to transfer here? Let me know. Hey, what happened to that motor mount? He's real quiet today. Huh. He's not here. Rest in peace, Chopper. Make that a hashtag. Nostalgic hashtag. Rest in peace, Chopper. Got that damn gunboat before it causes any trouble here. We'll the and nice. This is a mission you gotta kinda be careful with your mission with your mission Wow, I cannot speak with your missile reserves. Just because um, there are a lot of targets, because this is um heavily protected. It's a pretty cool looking aircraft, honestly. I think it's called like Raphael M or Raphael. Something along those lines, spelled R A F A L E. Man, yeah. why can't we be deployed to a tropical island for a change? Because <laughs> you're Marines, that's why. I speak from experience when I say being a Marine sucks ass. Pretty dismal, not gonna lie. It is December in the North Country, so it's pretty damn cold, which is expected. Anywhere north, way far, way far away from the equator, is gonna be really cold during winter time. Just flying around, hoop to the loo. The bad vibes. Okay. Well, yeah. Just land, damn it. Taking too long here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, relax there, bruh. Need you to calm yourself before you end up getting somebody killed here. Alright, let's take these guys out. Yes, sir. Roger. Dispersing to eliminate the enemy. Did I hit that tank or this what? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. With infiltration of the castle. Hope you all are having a good December. Um, 
I think I'm talking to myself right now because nobody really watches my videos. I think I have one subscriber. So, but hopefully we can all look back on this one day and uh, see that it was such a long time ago or even just such a short time ago that I actually had nobody watching it. And then I took off. So, it'd be kind of cool to see. But if you do happen to see this video and you like them, then hit that uh, subscribe button. And even if you can, just uh, drop some money on Patreon.com and that's really help me out. I guess we can show them some of the same. Oh, you know it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking, should I use my? Oh shit! Who, who's taking me? No! Fuck you! Yeah, they do. Will do. Got one down. I will take him out. Gotta be careful though. Three, enemy plane at your six it's very easy to get complacent after this mission is over. Sim oh fuck, I got hit a little bit. Oh fuck, this guy's got me digging off. Don't be trying to take me out, son. Woo! Shit. No, nope, not over yet. Come on. Yep. Ah, firing up at me. Fuck you guys. I know. Take him out. Don't just let me do all the work here. Let's see if I can use my, uh... Oh, sure. It's fine for now. Take them out. Come on. There's one tank down. Let's use another missile here, and we'll take out the other tank. We should be good for now. Take that one out, too. Good. Yes, it did. You bet your ass cheeks it did. Get the fire jets all down? Looks like it. Are there any more out there? Not that I see so far, but they do have, like, that... That weird uh, weaponry where it just completely uh, malfunctions or causes your uh, radar to malfunction. Come on, you bastards. Didn't quite get him. Well, don't just let me do all the work here. How about you actually uh, take him out? Oh, fuck. Fucking gunboat! Fuck you. Do you ever support me? Kind of doubtful. Oh, fuck. Come on, son. Oh, we got a fighter jet here. Take him out. Good. Woo! Shit. Mmm! Fuck you guys. Uh, come on, take him out. Don't let me do all the work here, and I'm just talking to myself. Simply because you guys suck dick. Lure them over where? What are you talking about, Nagasei? Well, no shit, Sherlock. Take him out, come on. I destroyed one. No shit. Woo! That was close. He's behind me now. Okay, don't run away from the actual place. Take out those tanks. Ugh. 
Yes, I know. We got 20 missiles left and 7 special weapons reserves, so... No, oh, they're taking me out! Fuck you! Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Okay, let's take out that damn, uh... This shit over here. Okay, I don't have a good angle on him. Did, motherfucker. Oh fuck! Shit! Woo! That was close. Can I take him out here. Got him. All right, cool. Oh fuck! Don't get complacent, son. Take out those damn fighters. Come on. Got one. No! Come on, you bastards. Got him. Alright, cool. Nope. I know. We will. Got him. Alright, let's cover the fucking plane now. I think we got all, all the, uh. Oh shit. Still one more? Really? Oh fuck. Take him out. Don't let me just take all the fire. Fuck you guys. Ah. Come on, you bastard. Mm, out of missiles. place in here, otherwise they will take you out just like this. I appreciate your efforts. By the way, your voice sounds familiar. Are you Yeah, sure oh fuck. I thought so. Yeah, I'm definitely that person who never talks. I guess so. Still dog fighting here, and they're not cool. That's right. I'm gonna do this now. Hopefully I won't fuck this up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Do you have the ball? I think Blaze has the ball. Love Top Gun. It's an awesome movie. Haven't seen it in forever. Uh, better slow down. And see where the fuck I'm going. I'm slowing down, damn it. Nailed it. Perfect place. Fucking nailed it. Stand by and prepare for your next sortie. Mission accomplished. President Harling was safely retrieved. The president is showing some signs of fatigue, but in general his condition is good.
When we got word of the president's return and ran up to the bridge, he was smiling and chatting with Pops and Captain Anderson. Apparently, he spent his days confined in the old castle, looking at the seven ground zero craters right out his window which served as the border between the two countries of North and South Belka. In the end, the Ocean army couldn't take the Yuktavanian capital, and the war began to bog down. For Belka, who challenged the world to battle, but were crushed by the twin powers of Osea and Yuktavania, there can be no sweeter revenge. They had created the hatred between the two countries, hoping that the war would eventually exhaust them both. The military officials on both sides were playing right into their hands. The intelligence vessel continued to intercept the Yuktabanian army's communications. One message from Air Force Traffic Control contained a string of mysterious numbers. Latitude, longitude, a date and time, and one more set of numbers. The president had the answer. Well, how about that? These are the numbers of votes I won in my presidential elections. Huh, this is from the first time I won, and here's the number from the election two years ago. This message was meant for me. The coordinates marked a location within North Belkin territory. The date was tomorrow. The squadron from Sand Island became the president's personal air fleet, even as the official reports continued to state that they were shot down and killed. This was the new emblem. <laughs>